it's happy about legends and thank you so much for clicking on this video yes so before we get into it i have a confession to make today has been horse shit i have gotten some bad news i'm a little stressed out it is what it is um yeah i've i've burned some incense i streamed solange i hit the stizzy if you know what i mean and we're gonna film this video, we're gonna get through it because I really wanna get through it today. But um, please pray for me. And if you would like to support my channel, please consider subscribing because I am trying to reach 10k subscribers by the end of 2021. And I think, I think I can do it. <sighs> please subscribe, anyways. And if you would also like to support my channel, please consider buying me some boba on Ko-fi. I also have a Patreon and you can also become a YouTube member. But yes, those are just a few ways you can support me. But like I said, subscribing is like the most important because like I literally just want to take 10k by the end of 2021. That is the goal. Period. But I wanted to film this video because since I got a job, uh, my appetite has been very difficult to manage. It's been very all over the place and my energy, you know, by the time I get home, I don't really feel like cooking. It's not really, I just don't feel like it. I'm really tired and lazy. And I thought it would be really cool for me to show you guys cheap, quick and easy, lazy meals that I make even when I'm like low energy, like we're talking like depression meals, okay? And, but these are depression meals that don't taste like depression meals. These are staple meals in my diet. If you've followed me for a while, if you follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of food pictures, if you've watched any of my like what I eat and whatever videos, some of these meals probably should not surprise you. And I wanted to share this with you guys because these are cheap, these are quick, it's easy, it's vegan, it's also gluten free. My throat hurts a little bit because let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I've asked Dizzy to sponsor me. They're not going to. It is what it is. But I got a gold one. It's so funny because before I got a Stizzy, I always thought they were like hella expensive. It's like $25. It's not that bad. And I had my other one, my orange one, for like two years. And it's only just now starting to sort of perform at a really low quality after two years and that's really good for any sort of vape honestly i'm not sponsored by stizzy though i do however have an affiliate code with tessie's tea <laughs> i'm dying um this is actually a product that i've been using for years like so way before i even like had a youtube channel it's a black owned tea company they make really good tea like i said i've been using their products for years like i've owned this mug since before i had a youtube channel i have an affiliate link with them so if you are interested in supporting a black owned tea company the link for that is down below their mint tea it's it's what i'm drinking it's vegan and it's so freaking delicious and like i said like your girl was hitting this dizzy and your throat's a little bit my throat's a little you know it is what it is so, the first staple meal in my diet, oatmeal. Oatmeal, 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 oatmeal. I eat so much oatmeal, it's ridiculous. Oats are really fucking cheap. You can use oats to make oat milk. You can use oats to blend them and use um, as an, as a, excuse me, gluten-free, um, not fiber, gluten-free flour. Um, oats are very versatile, they're very delicious, and I really like to doctor up my oats. I like to put fruit, and I like to put some sort of protein. Uh, carbs also really go well in oats, carbs like sweet potato, coconut. Typically I love to do cashews, I like to make chocolate oats. A lot of times I put blueberries in my oats and it turns my oats purple, so it gives it this really cool like look. Like I mentioned, these are just a few ideas of things you can do with oatmeal. Really, really cheap, really, really simple. All you have to do is boil some water. When the water starts boiling, throw the oats in there, stir the oats, you're done. And typically, if I'm gonna put coconut 
In my oats, what I like to do is I put the coconut in the water before it starts boiling, so then the water has a sweeter coconutty taste. Um, but that's just me personally. Those are just the toppings that I like to use. You can use maple syrup. You don't have to do all the shit that I do. You can do whatever you want. Um, but oats, so cheap, so easy. Oats are very easily accessible. I mean, oats, like as a poor person, I've eaten so much oats. Like I would, I used to go to the Dollar Tree and I would get like one container of oats and live off of that for like a week and that would be it. Like boom, bam, boom, sam. You know what I mean? The second meals uh, that I make consistently are tacos. I grew up in SoCal and tacos have been a consistent part of my diet for many, many years. I love tacos. Um, the cool thing about tacos, especially like as a vegan, is there's literally so many different fillings that you can use. And especially for me being gluten-free, um, tortillas are gluten-free and they're really easily accessible and tortillas are so cheap. You can get like a bag of tortillas for like a buck or like two dollars and that shit's gonna last you like a week or two even, really, really two weeks, honestly. Well, I mean, it's your life, but for me, I, a bag of tortillas can last anywhere from a week to two for me. Um, and you can fill your tacos with whatever. You can use sorriso, you can use lentils, you can use impossible meat, you can use soya, which is just like ground soy basically. I honestly really am getting into like tofu tacos. Bitch, use some beans, use some rice and beans. Like there's so many different things you can fill your tacos with. Season that shit really simply. In my advice, um, I like to top my tacos with lime and a little bit of vegan mayo because the vegan mayo adds almost like a sour cream-esque um, texture. And I don't add like, like I don't know, maybe the vegan mayo thing is weird to you. I like it. Personally for me, I've been dairy free for a lot longer than I've been vegan. So I haven't, I have not personally found a dairy um, free vegan sour cream that I enjoyed the taste of. Every vegan sour cream that I've tried tastes like Greek plain yogurt. And I think that the vegan mayo is just a little bit of a better option, especially if you have corn and then tahine. Bitch, do your damn thing, okay? Do your damn thing. I eat a lot of tacos. They're so simple, so easy. And like I mentioned, there's like so many different ways you can do it so many different proteins do your damn thing the third meal that i eat consistently is i don't really know what to call this it's just rice lentils vegetables and then if i'm feeling really like oh bitch let's go for it i'll add some tofu and there's basically a few different ways that i'll cook this dish so I'll either do like a soy sauce tahini kind of mashup, or sometimes I'll do like a curry and I'll use coconut. Oof, it's so good. Sometimes I'm kind of a freak. This is make fun of me, make fun of me all you want. Um, I don't know why, but sometimes I really just enjoy the taste of like raw rice and, well, not raw rice, excuse me, just like unseasoned rice, that's what I meant to say, not raw rice, okay. Unseasoned rice and like veggies and then the lentils with the coconut. It just has such like a clean, crisp taste. This is something I've enjoyed, like this is a meal that I've enjoyed for like way before I went vegan, way before I was even plant-based. This is a meal that I've eaten for a while. Um, because all these ingredients are cheap <laughs> and I normally get my coconut like shreds from like either a Mexican store or like some sort of ethnic store because they're always really cheap at an ethnic store when you go to like one of the American stores they're they're priced up really crazy and yeah this is a meal I eat a lot if you follow me on the gram if you if you followed me on Twitter during veggie you definitely saw this meal a few times because it's so easy it's really cheap all you do is like boil the water boil the rice throw in the lentils throw in the frozen veggies bada bing bada boom 20 30 something whatever minutes later 
Get your little soy sauce, ch -ch -ch, onion powder, chili powder, pew, parsley, a little bit of tahini, and you're good to go. And bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. And the last meal on my list, I can't remember who the first person I saw do this was. I genuinely can't remember. But this is one of my favorite like vegan substitute things because it brings me so much joy and I've talked about this in another one of my videos, but that this is chickpea salad. So chickpeas are, chickpeas are so fucking cheap and it's so funny because I used to eat a lot of tuna salad because tuna is so cheap. And um, fish was actually one of the last animals that I um, stopped eating. Um, because I really like, I love, I loved seafood. I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit here and act like I did not enjoy the taste of seafood. I was always like dumb. Whenever, whenever people said they didn't like seafood, I was convinced that the only seafood they've had is probably like white American, like bum fuck, nasty ass, poorly seasoned, dry seafood. They've probably never had any sort of Creole food. They've probably never had any soul food. They've probably maybe never had any sort of like Japanese food. I don't know, but I just never understood when people said that. But obviously like the idea of eating fish now kind of grosses me out and like the overfishing of it all, the overfishing of the situation, it's really ridiculous. Anyways, this is not the video. Um, Tuna salad was a huge staple in my meal before, go or a huge meal, a huge staple in my meal, a huge meal staple, a huge staple in my diet, a huge staple in my diet. And um, it also was kind of like a joy thing because my mom used to always make tuna salad growing up. A chickpea salad, in my opinion, is just as good, if not better, because it doesn't have, you know, fishy dead being taste and chickpeas are even cheaper than tuna and you get like way more chickpeas than you do tuna for like half the price like a can of tuna like I used to go to the Dollar Tree and get tuna or I would get like tuna at the store anywhere from like 79 to 99 cents chickpeas you're talking 49 cents like I've honestly never paid more than 70 80 cents for some chickpeas so fucking cheap it like blows me away how cheap chickpeas are like i cannot believe it basically you make chickpea salad the same exact way you would make tuna salad the only difference is you kind of have to mash the chickpeas before you make um before you do what you would do to tuna salad you if you have a blender you could pulse it i guess but honestly like you're doing way more work than you really have to and what I like to do is just take a spoon and kind of like stab it and also like kind of press the spoon against the edge of the bowl and just kind of do that until it's kind of like I don't you don't want it mush so don't like overdo it but you don't I mean if you don't want to mash it up you don't have to but like I don't know I think it it it, it has more of the tuna salad chicken salad thing that we're going for when you mash it up you know what I mean and then, like I said, you do the same exact thing that you would do to tuna salad. So typically for me, I do vegan mayo and then some sort of citrus, typically lemon. I also like to do lemon pepper um, and then onion powder, garlic salt, um, parsley, always parsley, chili powder. One thing I really like to do is add, um, normally if I have jalapeno, if I have jalapenos, I'll use jalapeno juice. But right now I have pepperoncinis, and so pepperoncini juice is honestly really nice as well. Um, and bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. And the nice thing about chickpea salad is very similarly to tuna or chicken salad, you can use it in a sandwich. You can throw it on top of some cabbage or some lettuce for a salad. You can roll it up in a tortilla. There's so many different ways to enjoy it. Super easy, super cheap, really quick. Um, out of all the meals, I guess the chickpea salad probably requires the most physical labor, but like, I feel like the payoff is so great because you get like two to three meals out of like 10 minutes of work. You know what I mean? So it's, it's worth it. But these are four meals that I like to make when I am just feeling really low. 
Um, these are really easy, um, accessible ingredients in my opinion. Most of these are whole food, blah, 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 whatever the fuck. Um, and you can find these like pretty much anywhere. Like you can find a lot of the ingredients I listed at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. Um, so there you go. So if you are interested in adding a few vegan meals into your life, I hope you consider adding some of these into your life. If you decide to cook any of these, please um, take a picture and tag me either on Instagram or Twitter. I also have a Tumblr if you're interested in that. That's also linked down below. Like I mentioned earlier, if you would like to support my work, you can consider buying me some boba on Ko-fi or subscribing to my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Um, all my links are down below, including the affiliate link for Tess Tessie's Teas. But um, anyways, y'all, I'm going to get going. Um, please pray for me. Light some incense. Meditate. Yoga. Talk to Buddha, Allah, whoever you pray to. Talk to them and let them know about me. And let them know that I would appreciate their holy magic, whatever. Hey, I could use some. Sprinkle it on me. Whoever. Whomstever. I'm open. I, hey. I am pan-spiritual. Okay? I do not discriminate against any deity. I will consider any one of them. So, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna get going y'all, as always. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, th a huge thank you to the sponsors of, my vid of this video, which are my patrons and my YouTube members. Um, as always, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, y'all. Bye!